Hey guys, we're back. It's the next freaking vlog. If you haven't already checked out the previous video, please do so. I'll have a link down below in the description for you to check it out. Show the video. My results are in. I know this year I didn't get the best placing that I thought I would, but we know what we have to do to improve ourselves to get the better placing next year. So right now, all I'm going to say is I'm going to be enjoying some food, quality time with the family, hop into a reverse vlog pretty soon, and as well as pretty much I'm, my goal is actually to keep the shreds this all summer. So, you know, being shredded in the summer is a fucking hell yeah. So, right now, I think for the past two days, I've been kind of enjoying myself. If you don't follow my social media, I'll have it right here on the screen. I've been posting it all on there, put the camera down since show day, didn't pick up the camera. I uploaded the vlog yesterday, but really didn't vlog or just talk to you guys for a little bit. And that's okay, because we, we YouTubers need to have some time to ourselves, guys. And once again, guys, I'm really, really happy if you don't know, I did post on my social media. Last week, I did hit 200 subs, and I'm really, really, really thankful for that. The next goal is 500, guys, or even 300, whatever it is. You got a big goal and small milestones to hit. But guys, keep supporting this page. If you like these videos, please give this video a thumbs up, as well as subscribe if you haven't already. And I want you to stay with me. I want you to have fun with me. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the vlog. Mm. Monster tastes so much better right after prep. But anyways, right now we're heading out to the gym in a kill leg day session. Got one meal prepped out and you're like, hold on, hold on. Why you have meal prep if your show is over? One advice I give a lot of people is that once your show prep or any kind of diet for a wedding, party, vacation is over and you had your fun the two days after or whatever you did, don't instantly start binging right away because that one, builds a healthy relationship with food and two, you will gain unnecessary fat. And what I, I advise a lot of people is you slowly introduce those food sources back into your diet but keep the same regimens you had way before. So for me, what I'm be doing right now, I'm still keeping my cardio in uh, five to six days a week, 40 minutes, where a peak week, I was in roughly about 60 minutes, or about a week before peak week was 60 minutes. So I'm trying to keep it at roughly 40 minutes for five to six times a week. My working out is gonna, not going to be crazy because obviously right now I'm a little bit a week after the show. I'm going to keep my workout routine still in there. Intensity might be a little bit lower. Slowly add the weight back up into where I was before I started show prep. And food is the same thing. I want to be enjoying my food. Macros are pretty much the same before show. I'm not really tracking at this week until next week while I'm really, really, really focused on tracking macros. Right now I'm enjoying my food but more clean. And whenever I do want to have a dirty meal, I'm going to go have it, get it out of the system, and start it next week when I said I'm going to really, really focus on macronutrients, try to maintain the summer shreds up until probably August after California. And from there, maybe, maybe do another show or just really, really go hard on off season. I don't know yet. Plans are crazy, but you're going to know. You're going to be with me for the whole journey, everything I do, and everything's going to be documented as always. So let's head to the gym, get a leg session in, and obviously, you know what? Today, I'm going to record some footages. So I'm going to catch you guys at the gym. <laughs> Put 
guys. So we just finished the gym session. The workout was freaking amazing. We did a 30-minute cardio session right afterwards. So now it's time to have a little post-gym treat. You know I said I'm treating myself throughout the week. So the best time to have a nice dirty meal is after the workout. So I gotta find something interesting in the mall. So let's go. So instead of having work today like I thought I did, I kind of accidentally planned work for tomorrow. So to celebrate the week of eating good, me and the homie, me and the bro, are going to get some ice cream donuts. And no ordinary like, ice cream from Dunkin' Donuts and donuts from Dunkin' Donuts. We're going to a little place down in Red Bank, New Jersey to pick up the amazing donuts because I don't want to drive all the way down the city for a pair of donuts. So let's have a little treat and sit back and enjoy the ride. So we arrived. Ready, man? Ready for the food? Ready for the ice cream sandwiches? Woo! Bro, this prep was definitely worth it, and all the food we'll be eating and enjoying, definitely fucking worth it. So, let's get the ice cream sandwiches, let's have some fun, let's get fat as fuck, and forget about the abs. Fuck abs, right? Fuck abs. Don't curse on the channel, bro. That was freaking delicious. Bro, honestly, it was amazing. Honestly, bro. Like, that was fucking worth the drive. They told us they're opening one literally right next to my house. So, you know what that means. Every weekend? Every weekend. Every weekend. Sorry, coach. These abs ain't gonna stay this weekend. Yes. Guys, nothing beats a nice, fresh morning without trying protein. But anyway, right now we're having some protein coffee as well as some egg whites. A little bit of my favorite hot, little spicy sauce on top of it. A little bit of mixed vegetables. Watch some TV, um, and then today probably head to the gym. Then I work around four-ish, and then head to the movies later on today. So I'm gonna give you guys a review of it. It's been incredible too today, and I really like anime and movies like because it's the childhood. You know, sometimes you gotta go back to the days and do the good old days and stuff. But I'm gonna have this stuff, and yeah, catch you guys. Okay, guys, we just finished our last shift. For work and now I'm heading back to the mall with the fam. Uh, my brother and my dad and my little brother are already here. Uh, I'm actually gonna be meeting them to head to the movies. Uh, we're gonna be seeing Incredibles 2. Really excited to 14 years to make Incredibles 2 and I'm excited to embrace my childhood. I have heard a lot of mixed reviews about the movie. Some people are saying it's not that funny, some people are saying hilarious and I personally really have a short, not even a short, uh, corny sense of humor, so the littlest jokes make me laugh. So I hope in the whole movie I'm laughing because I freaking love animated movies and yeah. So right now, pulling into the parking lot, getting inside, and since you know we're off the show prep, your boy can have some popcorn and other treats because we enjoying life right now, we chilling right now. 
There's no stress about anything. Uh, so far, actually, probably since Saturday, I only put on two pounds. And right now, I'm eating whatever the hell I want, guys. It's all about balance, moderation, and yeah, so get inside. Okay, guys, so we're back home from the movies, and in my personal opinion, Incredibles 2 wasn't as funny as Incredibles 1. And even though it took them 14 years, I think it's better. What do you think, man? It was an amazing movie, bro. Honestly, I love that. But yeah, tell me the truth because you know, you weren't born when Incredibles 1 came out, and I don't know when you watched Incredibles 1. I definitely but, watched it. I'll tell you that right now. 100% watched it. I don't know. I personally think it could have been a lot funnier and. It could have been. Like, from the storyline of the first one was a lot better than this one, where. I don't know. Like, I just felt like this one was everywhere rather than the one other one which had a main point that kept going with the story and. All I can say is it better not take 14 years to make Incredible 3. It wouldn't. It should never make another 14 years. I say good five years. That's perfect. But guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give the video a thumbs up, comment down below whatever kind of questions you guys have. And guys, hit the bell notification to be notified when the next video goes live. And as well, guys, once again, thanks for 200 subscribers. Let's make 300 or even, you know what, 500. This big go home. Go big or go home. And guys, Hit the subscribe button. I'll catch you guys in the next. Losing my control. Now you wanna know why I got so cold.